Revamping the agricultural sector was top of the agenda for the army officers and district representatives who attended the third National Agriculture Advisory Services meeting in Bwebaja along Entebbe Road. The officials discussed ways of getting farmers into a web-based system to ease their work. The initiative is aimed at improving the government's operation wealth creation. Dr. Christopher Bukenya, the acting executive director of the NADS program, says the initiative is aimed at registering farmers. Because at the beginning of this financial year we are reviewing, His Excellency directed that farmers must be registered, both before and after receiving input. So before is to enable us prepare. You must know the number of farmers that you are preparing for. The discussions of embracing technology are in stark contrast to the old-fashioned methods of farming used by the vast majority of farmers across the country. The state of affairs is further compounded by a cut in the budgetary allocation to the NADS program this year from 318 billion to 279 billion Ugandan shillings. Godfrey Maserika, the head of planning at NADS, says they will require one trillion shillings. This is in the right direction because our issue here has been integrating input distribution with extension services. So this funding is uh, supporting uh, the extension services. The Deputy Coordinator of Operation Wealth Creation, Lieutenant General Charles Angina, says the World Food Program has invested in storage facilities to improve income crop sales. But the uh, World Food Program has come in handy to help in post-harvest uh, handling so that uh, our, our farmers, especially peasant farmers and subsistence farmers, do not lose out in uh, having quality uh, crops after harvesting. There is no demand in oil anymore. The demand in minerals is dec declining. But we, the demand in the food is increasing. So those, that's why you see a rush by the Chinese buying our land. Chinese uh, in, uh, trying to go into commercialization. And we, the African, the native, the Ugandan, we are not looking at that. This is the third consecutive meeting where stakeholders, including the army, are trying to move most farmers into the middle income status, specifically targeting smallholder farmers who are at 68% to enter into the category of commercial farming. Andrew Anitwe, NTV, Kampala.